I got a great video! Alright, fakes! So, uh, last episode of Mighty Crane Build, I built the reversing gear for the winch. Um, we've got two, two, complain two components, <laughs> two components that are nearly ready to put together. I do want to get some paint on this because we've got some sheet metal pulleys and the winch drum. And uh, I'm not that fussed about the big 10mm plate. Um, and it's cold outside, so I'll probably blow over the whole thing in the in the warm. But I paint I paint this winch mechanism in the shed. That'd be okay. Uh, we've got to make a, a block tackle block, a block blocky block, pulley block, pulley block. That'd be the one. Um, uh, so when we're lifting the really heavy stuff, we can wrap the cable around twice, and uh, that'll get paint as well because that's got the same sheet steel pulleys on it. So um, we'll do that first. Get some paint on this. I've got the new carburetor for my engine, so hopefully I can demonstrate it working properly, and uh, we'll get it on the crane itself. You'll see the crane again for the first time, and goodness knows how long. Um, I do have a few more things to do after that. We've got to make a break for this. Not a break for the drum, but a break for the whole carriage mechanism, so it doesn't roll along the crane uh, if, I'm, if I'm on a gradient or something like that. Yeah, so it won't be a it won't be a break. It'll be a lock. So I lock it at the far position and the close position, and maybe a set of steps going up to the engine, and maybe some ballast at the back. So there's a few things left to do. Probably won't get it all done in this little video, uh, but we'll, we'll try and get cable spooling on and off the crane with the winch drum in a painted condition. Again, like if it looks like the paint's going to take ten years to dry in this I mean I'm in it I'm not in my jacket today so like you can probably judge that it's got a little bit warmer spring is on its way uh but yeah we'll we'll just see what what happens all right <laughs>
I am ashamed to say, uh, in those days we had CompuServe. Do you remember CompuServe and the download speed on the first time I subscribed to CompuServe, the first time I got connected to the internet, the download speed was 2.4 kilobits per second. Yeah. And yeah. if you wanted to load up details on there, and it was so frustrating, and I, I wrote a column out of frustration, I said, this is the most stupid thing I've ever seen. It takes so long to download, and, and you know, the content is rubbish. It's not going to go anywhere. Now. Okay, I should probably explain this little pin. So this is a, a greasable pin for the for the pulleys in the uh, in the pulley block there. Um, the, where where my bloody oh, there they are. Okay, so um, with a, with an axle, you want to decide what's going to rotate you. So the pulleys are going to spin on this axle. And uh, this has got to be easily removable so I can lay the cable into it because I'm not going to use it all the time. Um, a couple of little holes there for the grease to come out of. Grease nipple there and this plate here slides over this pin and we just pop an R clip in or a hair clip, whatever. there we go. Move a little bit, that's no problem. Um, <laughs> Here we go, see. I think I need to smooth it off a little bit. Okay, pretty much done. <laughs> what an absolute beauty. Uh, I've got quite a big gap here. This is, I suppose, the cable guard. Uh, stop the cable coming off. What I might do, if uh, if that gap's too big, I'll just uh, slide a bit of nylon down there and bolt the nylon in place. I've got space for a bolt. A bolt can go here. We can put pieces of nylon there. And, uh, you know, it won't matter if the the cable touches the nylon, it'll act like a fair lead, a guide if you like, um, but at the same time it'll keep the keep the cable from slipping off whilst I'm manipulating it all. Well, I can see that being really annoying.
okay. Slight change of plan, lads. Um, uh, not too much of a change of plan. Uh, the the engine, the little streamer engine that I have on the on the winch, um, isn't isn't really performing. I think even even just the uh, even just the friction inside the big worm box is um, is what is causing a lot of damage to the rub wheel because the 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 drive wheel's hitting it so fast. So uh, basically, to cut a long long. Um, that wasn't the best idea. Uh, I did my sums in that, it should have worked, but uh, obviously the things I didn't take into account mean that it won't work. So, we've got another streamer engine here. Uh, this one's twice the size, 52cc apparently. Um, 55cc. <laughs> okay. Uh, and what, these are these are pretty common old engines. These are, these are what people put on go-peds, if you've ever seen those petrol scooters, which means that I was able to easily obtain a four to one reduction box. So now my, my rub wheel is gonna be going a quarter of the speed as it as it as it was on the, the other engine, so probably down to two grand tops I suppose. Um, so basically I've got to take the rub wheel off and put it on here but we've got to get this engine working first. A little bit of fiddling, um, clean it up, try and get it running nicely and uh, Put the rub wheel on here. We'll use the shaper again, eh? That'll be fun. I've, I've just trying to get this thing tuned up a bit, you know. Uh, look at this. So this is this is the the cover for the air filter. Um, choke. Can you see that clearly? Yeah. Maybe that's a bit better. Off is up. Down is on. Yeah, according to the label. Okay. <laughs> The cheeky bastards, I don't know if you've got enough light here folks. Here we go. Uh, still can't see it. Can you see it? Look. Up is on. Down is off. <laughs> I put the labels the wrong way. I'm not going mad. I'll have this thing running nicely now that we've uh <laughs> now that we've got that little um Anomaly figured out, yeah. Sign 
and just go and look at the camp. But I, I didn't walk to a few hundred metres and I felt terribly from him. I knew if you leave him, he's going to die. Uh, because uh, where his head had hit the ground, there was a big hole. I mean, the blood was just oozing out all over. And, he, you know, he's one of our men. So I had to wear it out. And so I said, no, no, I, I can't do this. You know what I mean? I thought he was, his life was more important than finding the camp. Uh, and I knew where the camp was. And, and it was important for me to find the camp. So uh, I got back to base and they sent him two of the helicopters. Uh, and we could hear those helicopters over there for 20 minutes. Okay, so that was the easy end. Uh, Temmel end is the end that's going to take the key. Uh, we want to reproduce this shaft that came out of that little gearbox here. Yeah? Um, this had the gear pressed onto the back of it. And you can just about see a tiny little step there. This is the uh, this is this is the spot where the gear was mounted, and if we put it on the mic. Um, there's like half a millimetre difference, you know, we've got to get the bearings there and there and the gear's got to fit on there which is a half mil bigger um, for the interference fit of the bearing, I mean that's a press fit isn't it, and it wants to be a good solid press fit because it's taking that tremendous power coming out of the uh, 52cc engine belting along, 55cc sorry Okay, so I haven't actually, I haven't actually measured this yet. Um, perhaps I should polish it first. Cool. I swear I tried too hard. Um, <laughs> the uh, the bearing fits are fine. The interference fit for the gear. Whoop! Oh, there's a little bit of interference there. Uh, but you know, not good enough. So we'll have to. Um, I think I'm gonna braze that on. To be honest, rather than make the shaft again, we'll cut the keyway in there thread it and then we'll braise the gear on and if I fuck it up, uh, well I don't know, I don't know what happens then. <laughs> if I mess this gear up we're uh, back to square one aren't we?
Okay, didn't go entirely as planned, but um, it all worked out in the end. I would have been a, a lot happier if I got a fucking hell, a good, uh, a good press fit on that, uh, on that gear in there. But um, yeah, and then um, I couldn't get enough heat in it to get the bonds to uh, to stick. And uh, so I ended up being plumber's solder, but that'll 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 keep it on there. It was a it was a you know the beginning of an interference fit. Um, I can hear that uh, that clutch drum spinning. It's, it's nice and free. That's the main thing, isn't it? Eh? Uh, yeah, it all, all looks like a proper job as well. So I'm going to completely remake the uh, the pivot assembly now because it was flapping around a bit too much before. So. Uh, do that, make a nice big chunky hinge, and then get this and the hinge back on the crane. <laughs> Stalls, and this type of ISM is least common, but most of it's for mining. Uh, two notes on that. First, it is still very minimal. A million particles per cubic centimeter is still millions of times thinner than the air you're breathing. A second, while it is estimated to make up less than 1% of the interstellar medium by value, keep in mind that half of the zones of solar systems, even being very generous in how wide that is, make up around a quadrillionth of the interstellar medium. So there are trillions of times more likely. take on that sort of length of commitment. The campaigners weren't alone in worrying
Okay, so uh, as as you can see, we've made a we've made excellent progress. Excellent progress. There's a few bits I need to do, but this is this is near enough done. I reckon we'll get it wrapped up in the next video. Just a few little fiddly bits and pieces. Gonna have to make some fair leads for these cables. I'm just gonna use some blocks of nylon and uh, uh, probably amide. Sorry keep the trademarks out of it <laughs> you know just to they'll essentially rub against the pulley and keep the cable on the pulley uh, it's not it's not the fact that these pulleys are wonky once it when there's weight on it they're they're doing okay uh, and the more weight we put on it the easier it will be it's, it's more the um, you know when when we're rigging the cables or if the weight comes off all the cables jump off all the pulleys which is a bit of a pain in the ass as i'm sure you can imagine uh I, i'm very glad i mean a couple of you put doubt in my mind about the other engine and uh that was the right thing to do always <laughs> always always listen to other people's doubt this is um this is a much better setup much bigger engine twice the size uh four to one box on the engine that works perfectly now absolutely fantastic um, what else do we have to do? I am. Um, we we'll have to put a little ladder on this, I think, just to get up top. Because if that gets stuck over the hole or something, we'll be a little bit screwed. It needs a lock on it at the back. It doesn't need a lock at the front. Uh, it needs a lock at the back. So when I pick up the concrete pipe, uh, the carriage doesn't move. Um, so we'll have a little, a little handle up here or something, just so we we'll push this back. It will latch in place, and then we'll have to pull the handle if you want to roll it forwards and proper controls <laughs> this is where i mean the weight of this bar is is uh revving the tits of the engine at the minute to operate it i've got to hold that in one hand and try and operate the throttle at the same time you know uh so we'll we'll put a kill switch and um throttle on that lever and oh yeah i've got to sort out some cable cable crimps cable crimps an eyelet for there somewhere to attach the cable these are all just little five minute jobs you know um we sort of we, we probably need a rain cover for these two engines as well um you know maybe maybe not i don't know probably probably i should do that shouldn't i uh keep the keep the moisture off that pulley although it's you know sopping wet at the minute and it still seems to work uh yeah we are nearly there on the crane folks which is <laughs> pretty cool it's putting a smile on my face so i'm liking this project it's uh it's been fun everyone wants a crane didn't they <laughs> right okay so uh yeah um tune in next time for mighty crane build finishing off um i'll try not to get too distracted in the meantime there's a couple of things i need to do but uh yeah that's that's it for today guys take care folks and i'll, I'll see you all later Bye bye